everyone, Josh here from Netmark.com, here to briefly talk about SEO or search engine optimization at a very high level. SEO can really be broken down into two categories, on-site and off-site. On-site can be further dissected into two subcategories, relevancy and architecture. By relevancy, we mean relevancy to a particular key term or phrase. Uh, those are frequently called or referred to as keywords. And we also mean semantically related keywords. Google and the other search engines are big enough and sophisticated enough that they know about the different relationships that exist between one word and another word. And so if there's a term that they see frequently used on the page, uh, they have the technology to be able to cross-reference that term to other terms that are highly related and algorithmically gauge whether that content is being keyword stuff or whether it's actually good content. When we talk about architecture, we're talking about the file and directory structure of the website, and we're also talking about the internal link structure of the website. Now that's important because we do what's called page rank sculpting or page rank funneling when we work on websites, and we want to make sure that we're passing as much page rank as we possibly can to the right pages. File and directory structure is important because we want it to make sense. We want the URL to contain really good keywords. We want it to be easy to use and not very confusing to searchers that are on your website. So when you're working on on-site SEO, make sure that you're mainly focusing on these two subcategories, relevancy and architecture. We want to make sure that each individual page is relevant for a particular key term. You also want to make sure that you have semantically related keywords on the same exact page. Google's smart enough to detect that. You also want to make sure that you have an architecture that makes sense, and you also want to make sure that your internal linking is set up so that you're passing your page rank to your main pages or the pages that you'd like to rank high in the search engines. We're going to jump over here to offsite. Offsite SEO can be broken down into three subcategories relevancy, importance, and likability. Relevancy, again, is broken down to the keyword level and semantically related key terms. When it comes to relevancy, most people think, let's just get the backlink anchor text right. But we're actually looking for the relevancy on the web page that the link's originating from and the website as a whole that the backlink is originating from. Those are very important. We want to make sure that we're not only getting good links with good anchor text, but we want to make sure that they're from relevant pages and from relevant domains. Okay, over to importance. Importance is generally measured by the number of incoming links to a particular page or domain, but we take that one step further. We're looking at the page rank of a particular page or your home page. Now, Google doesn't report what the real page rank value is. They report what they call toolbar page rank, which is not very accurate and it's not updated very often. So we have our own value that we assign in lieu of page rank that's measured in much the same way. It's different, obviously, but it, it captures what we think is, are very important elements to high ranking. We also are looking at what we call trust rank. Basically, that's how trustworthy the links that are pointed to your website are in Google's eyes. Now, again, we don't use Google's own algorithm to measure this. Google doesn't have any method of reporting trust rank. We have our own way of doing that, uh, but we believe that it's very similar to the way that Google measures trust rank. And then lastly, uh, we're looking at likability. Likeability is the engagement that a website has the ability to create or a particular web page through the social networks. How many likes does it have? How many tweets does it have? How many Google Pluses does it have? All of those important statistics. And then lastly, we're looking at usage statistics. So when a website ranks in Google, one of Google's primary objectives is to give the user a really good experience. And that way, they'll continue to use Google in future searches rather than abandoning Google and going to a different search engine. We're constantly looking at usage statistics. Just like Google, we want to make sure that everybody that's coming to a particular web page or the home page, that they're having a really good experience, that they're able to find what they're looking for very quickly. A lot of times people forget that visitors often enter a website through one of the sub pages rather than through the home page, and that can cause problems because they're building their home page specifically to capture those types of users whereas the subpages aren't as clear and aren't set up to be quite as engaging. And so that's definitely an issue that you need to pay attention to. Okay, so going back over off-site, we're looking at relevancy. We want to see the relevancy of incoming links to a particular keyword and 
semantically related keywords. We're looking at the anchor text. We're looking at the web page that the link's originating from. And lastly, we're looking at the website that the link's originating from. We're measuring importance by way of incoming links and our own proprietary scoring system that's similar to PageRank and then our own proprietary scoring system that's similar to TrustRank. Lastly, we're looking at the likability of a given page or domain by looking at the social media networks and measuring engagement there, and then by looking at analytics and measuring usage statistics associated with that page or that domain. Okay, that wraps up our high-level overview of SEO. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye-bye.